Hey guys, welcome back to New Stuff TV 2, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Which one of the fours are we gonna go with, Richardson? Because today we're gonna be trying to figure out which one do we go with. Is it gonna be the JBL Clip 4 or the JBL Go 4? Two fours, but there can only be one. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because somebody asked me, uh, now that the Go 4 is out, it has more watts and a better battery life, how does it compare to the JBL Clip 4? four because the clip four has a 10 hour battery life and i i don't know how many watts it is i never really cared for a speaker of this size but as far as sound goes i was curious like when somebody asked the question like i was like that's kind of silly because they're two different speakers but hey let's try it and then i got the answer i was looking for so let me help you out bro so if you look at both speakers i got the clip four in the left hand and the go four in the right hand i mean it's jbl classic styling for the clip and the go series of course clip four has been around so you know what that looks like and then the go four has a little bit more robust and rugged appearance uh, to me it actually looks and even feels a little bit more durable than the last one now let's turn around to the back side uh, if you're gonna lay these down flat, oh man, it finally came off, look at that. <laughs> the little silicone strips, they will come off, okay? I'm your testimony to that. They can and will come off and then your speaker's just gonna be ugly after that. And it's probably gonna slide around. So be aware of that if you're actually interested still in the Clip 4 or even the Go 4 series that these will come off. They've actually remedied that problem with the new series of Go and Clip speakers by putting this silicone strip here and it is, it's a part of the speaker. It's not just some glued on stuff that they just have there. It's actually a part of it. And it feels like it's not gonna come off anytime soon. We're still rocking with the same IP67 rating. Uh, and they do have the exposed uh, USB-C ports here. And you also have all of the same button features. They're just in different locations. We got a power and a Bluetooth button, power, Bluetooth, and AuraCast, which we'll talk about in a moment. And then we got our play, pause, and up and down. On the front of the Clip 4, we got a play, pause, up and down. You can see they added a little bit more luxury to the aesthetics by adding a two-tone JBL logo here, which I am all, I'm here all day for it because I felt like the Clip and the Go series were kind of just, you know, left to the wayside when it came to that little, just that fine little detail. Here, we don't have it, but here, now we do. And of course, you just see more rubberization around the Go 4, and then we have a little bit sturdier uh, loop for the Go 4 series. But then again, we're comparing it to a Clip. So as far as aesthetic goes uh, and usage, that's gonna be totally up to you because now here we have a clip and you can clip this on to literally anything. It's just ready to go because it's got a built-in carabiner. Whereas the Go, uh, you can only just hold it by your pinky or something like that. Or you can get your own carabiner and clip it to anything you want. So then it becomes even more versatile. So as far as usage, that your mileage is gonna vary. Now, in the, in the conversation of usage, they can both be played laying flat just like that, but only the Go 4 can be stood up just like this and become a forward firing speaker, which I can always appreciate if I'm standing far away from it, but typically you're kind of away and you know out, so you want it to fire up. That way the sound kind of just projects up and everybody gets some of that JBL goodness that comes out of here. Now with battery life, like I said, the JBL Clip 4, you're getting 10 hours, man. That's it, 10 hours, up to 10 hours. You might not even get all that if you turn this thing up full blast and let it go. But 10 hours is what you can get max. On the JBL Go 4 series, they have bumped it up from five to now seven hours of battery life and, and you get app connectivity. Yes, the Go 4 and the Clip 5 now have app connectivity. And that takes me to the next part of why you should probably just wanna upgrade to the new stuff anyways. Not only do you have app connectivity, but now you have AuraCast. So that what that means is you can now connect JBL Go, uh, Go 4 and Clip 5 to your other JBL speakers, as well as stereo pairing them if you have two of the same ones. You can't even dream of doing that if you got a JBL Clip 4 or even a Go 3. It's just not gonna happen. So you can get two of these and stereo pair them if you want to, or connect them to some of your other JBL speakers uh, because of this right here. You see that right there? That is the AuraCast button and that's what it's all about. I like AuraCast. I just don't like the way JBL does it inside of their app. It's it's really wonky. It's a pain in the butt. Hopefully they fix it with a couple of updates. That way it's a lot smoother and we can go back to the just, you know, press the connect button and then it just, you know, finds each other and links up. 
Hopefully, I've got my fingers crossed, JBL. In my opinion, both of these speakers should have a microphone in them, but JBL decided to leave that out once again on the Go and the Clip series of the speakers, so we do not have that. But as far as everything else, we still got the same stuff but we do have better sound in the Go series. Now, you gotta go to my JBL uh, Go 3 versus Go 4 video to figure out if the Go 3 sounds better or worse than the Go 4 to you. But then you come back here to find out if the Go 4, since it has been upgraded, sounds better or as good as the Clip 4. And that's what we're here to find out today. So without further ado, let's just, let's just say goodbye now and I'm gonna leave you with this clip so you can determine which one sounds better to you. In my opinion, the Go 4 actually sounds really good. In fact, the same. I ain't saying it sounds better or worse. I, I say it same, sounds the same actually as the Clip 4, which begs the question, which one should you, should you get? Well, if you just, as far as volume and everything, volume and sound quality, the, uh, the JBL uh, Go 4 sounds the same as the Clip 4. It's almost like they took the guts out of here and put it in the Go 4. So in my opinion, man, um, if it was me spending my money, I would just go for the Go 3, unless you just really need that Clip 4 form factor. And, and if that's the case, why don't you just go for the Clip 5? But in my opinion, the Clip, uh, the J, the, man, it's a lot of, no, no names and stuff. The JBL Go 4 actually sounds better as far as sound quality than the JBL Clip 5. So that's a whole nother issue. <laughs> but right here, the JBL Go 4 versus the Clip 4, I'm going to have to roll with the JBL Go 4. I think it sounds the exact same. Okay, so here's a clip. 